Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about various research topics that you can take up if you are doing your PhD in chemistry. This video is the part of another long form video where I have talked about various branches of chem chemistry in depth and then I have talked about the various research topics that you can take up. So if you want to watch that video, the link is in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Now I will provide you some topics that you can take up if you are very beginner in research, like at your level of your BSc in chemistry or MSc in chemistry. If you are very new, you can take up these things. These topics include the production of biodies, syngas production using rice husk, determining level of heavy metals in effluents which is released from any pharmaceutical company. Then usage of non-wood plant fibers in pulp and paper making. Then you can also work on comparison and st study of the parameters that you can get from still and running water. Then you can also work on the fermentation of fruits and vegetab vegetables. So these were all the topics that you can take up in as a, as a part of your basic research in your BSc or MSc level. Now I will go ahead on some advanced to topics that you can take up during your MSc level. These topics include the first thing is your medicinal inorganic chemistry. Like you can work on those drugs which are used for the treatment of cancer. Then you can also work on your solid state batteries where you can work on lithium solid electrolytes. So after COVID, we have all started to talk about our dis disinfectants. So that can also be a good area of research to work upon. You can research about the catalytic disinfectants that are used on air and surfaces. Another very good area of research is your green synthesis. Green chemistry is similar to your sustainable chemistry, which focuses on the design and products that may that minimize or just eliminate the use and generation of hazardous substances another area another very good area to work on is advancement of small molecule drugs for the clinical treatment of osteoporosis osteoporosis as we all know is a bone disease Another very good area to work on is your nanopesticides. Na nanopesticides are the nanostructures which have their size be be between 1 to 200 nanometers which are used to carry agrochemical ingredients to control the weeds and enhance the yield of the crop. So these were some of the mid-level to topics that you can take up. Now I will give you the list of quite advanced topics that you can take up if you are doing your PhD in chemistry. So just pause the screen, take a screenshot and note down these topics. So these are the topics that you can take up if you are doing your PhD in chemistry. So just pause the screen and take a screenshot. So I hope this information would have been useful for you. If it is, go ahead and check out the long form video also. I'm sure that information will also be useful for you. Till the next week, take care.